They'll be delighted, I think, with six new signings, Eddie. The fact that they've scored 42 points tonight is a great start for them over there at the KC Stadium. Leon Price scored the first of the season for them. And Salford struck back. You know, if you look here, there's tries that Salford score in this one, eventually scored by Josh Griffin. I've got brilliant skill. Just look at that pass, Junior So Out the back to uh, Josh Griffin. They went try for try, but from then on, really, Hold started to dominate this game. It is a last tackle play. And for a team that ranked 10th out of points scored last season, I think Lee Radford were delighted with the invention, the creativity, the instinctive play. If there's two kicks involved in this, and eventually it's the right winger, Mahu Fanoa, one of the debutants, who scores a good try. Hull then show in this one here that they've got players. Look, there's nice, it's team play. I think they've developed and improved from last season where they got themselves in here, Eddie, and so often they would just lose the ball on the last tackle or kick the ball dead. But I think they've obviously worked very hard at improving. Jordan Thompson crashes through some, I would say, poor defence from Salford at that point. And then they shift the ball wide to the left wing. The right wing has already got one. Here it's the time for, for, for Tuli Talanoa here to get over. He had a hamstring injury, you know. This is uh, very little time to prepare in the pre-season, but he'll be very pleased, I think, to score that try. And then another newcomer, Carlos Tumavave here. Again, nice touch here from Frank Pritchard, laying it on there for him to crash over and it was uh, 26 points to 6 at half time. The second half, well again, it started with an accurate kick here. Just look at this for a, a try. It's a, one that Josh Bowden gets on the back of Leon Price. Again, they're converting those attacking options into tries. And following that, well, you see a nice play here involvement from Sikamanu. Look at that. Draws in the defenders and lets Jack Logan get over for his first try of the season. A further hull were in complete control at this point in the match. This is one of the most bizarre tries you'll probably see. It, it's amazing here how, how long this goes on for. You think, firstly, when uh, it's put through there, you think, well, maybe Salford are going to counter-attack. But Gareth O'Brien loses the ball, and Hull, through Jamie Shaw, are prepared to play on. They're not, wait, not waiting for the whistle. They're all waiting and, and keep playing, and eventually Jamie Shaw tows it through here and scores a very nice individual effort on that player. Well, I think Salford, though, did show some character. You know, eventually they did have Tommy Lee Simbind, but they played with some real spirit. And Ben uh, Murdoch Masala has one involvement there. You get it to see him again a little bit later on. They're at this point in the, uh, in the game here then. Eventually they pass the ball right. I think the tries they score are not bad efforts. There's Ben Murdoch Masala, Junior Shell, so crashes over for one out wide. And I suppose it'll keep the Salford fans who went there pretty happy the fact that they've, you know, in the dying stages when this game was over, they didn't give in. That's some spirit that Tim Sheens can build on. Another try here for Niall Evels who came on and played in the left wing. We might see a little bit more of him this season as the year goes on. I think he's a massive potential to play at the highest possible level. And what about this for a run? There's a big second row of Ben Murdoch Masala burst through the middle and the support left and right. He releases the right centre, Junior So, and shows good speed. He was troubled with hamstring injuries last year. No problem there in scoring. 42-20, a pretty good effort, and I think both sides, well, they've certainly showed they can score tries. They'll have to work on improving their defence next week.